Seattle used to be called the Emerald City, crown jewel of the Northwest. In the two years since I'd been gone, the city had, well, lost its luster. But those walls and warning signs only increased my determination. Stop! We will shoot! Can't tell you how bizarre it felt to be a fugitive in your own city. Thought I had a big advantage over other strangers, because I knew those streets like the back of my hand. But so many of the old landmarks were gone burned down or blown up. Seattle had been destroyed once before, in 1889, and the city was rebuilt right over the ruins. Keep moving, or I'll shoot. Turned out, I wasn't the only fugitive. George was a former fisherman who'd moved underground with a makeshift family of orphans. Told George that I had no intention of stealing his stuff, that I was just trying to get home to Queen Anne. You'll never make it that far. Just walked all the way from New York. I think I can handle a few more miles. Last miles you'll walk as a free man. George told me Seattle had fallen under martial law about a year ago. After a marauder attack, a couple local leaders rallied survivors to take back the city. It all started with good intentions, but in their quest to enclose the city, the leaders formed mandatory labor laws that, over time, became no different than a prison. Better safe than sorry. That's their motto. Better dead than a slave. That's mine. I got a sinking feeling about Janelle and Kizzy. Run! If they had survived, what had life been like for them? It was hard to believe the universe had given me a gun just to kill a couple security guards. But even though Seattle had changed so radically, the real question was, had I? Was I finally ready to kill just to get home?